All right, watch fans. I got another one. This is another one from uh, AliExpress. Don't hate me, but I'm kind of getting a kick out of them. So, <laughs> you know, I've got some other good ones on the way too. But, you know, I, I find some of these unique ones and I just, I have to go for them, right? I just want to see what's up with them. So here it is. If, if it's what I think it is, it's, oh my gosh. All right, it's got a crazy name. Hopefully, hopefully they changed the name from the, from the actual, uh, oh my god, no, it still has it, oh jeez, I don't even know if I can say this one on eBay, I mean on YouTube without kidding, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Self Lover Drum Watch. <laughs> Yes, that is not a fake name. I didn't come up with that name. That is legitimately what the name of the watch is. It's called the Self Lover. I don't ask. I don't know. That's what I saw. And it's what it is. All right. <laughs> I'm going to see what whatever I can find out about this watch. Um, and if I can find something, then you'll be met with a video. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just talk about the watch. Thank you very much. All right, so guess what? I could find nothing on this watch. Um, I searched, believe me, I did. I searched for self-lover and self-love all over the internet and I was getting uh, pretty much anything, especially when you put self-love and watch. A uh, lot of things that uh, you would not otherwise expect to be searching for so at some point I had to stop searching because I share an office with my wife and she was I kept seeing her look over my shoulder and say what are you looking at I'm like I don't know I'm sorry somebody this 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 video distracted me and it ended up being nothing about watches so I had to stop um the best I can figure is this name didn't go over very well and uh, the company quickly changed its name <laughs> and or went out of business. You know, again, uh, I don't like to make fun of these things, but, um, you know, how hard is it to spend $20 to, uh, I mean, look, man, you know, somebody wants to send me a quick email and say, hey, look, we want to put something on your website. Uh, we want to put something on our website. Does this sound ridiculous? Like, uh... Um, gosh, what, what was that other watch that I had where on their website it says that, uh, um, that the watch incites bloodlust or something, or, or it said something like, um, uh, female breath burst. Like, what is that? And I, I think what they meant to say is it'll take her breath away, but they said female breath burst, which is completely ridiculous, right? You know, <laughs> We all use different language to uh, express ourselves. Uh, like, for example, uh, the Pontiac Fiero, right? What a great car. I mean, who doesn't remember that car? That car was awesome. I mean, everybody wanted one in the 80s, right? What does Fiero mean, right? So to us, we think it means proud, but in, uh, I think it's Italian. I think it means, like, wild animal or something like that, or... Uh, you know, so sometimes things don't always translate the way that they should. And self-lover clearly um, did not translate as intended. So, nevertheless, this is a pretty cool watch. Uh, <laughs> it's actually pretty neat. So, uh, let's just get into it a little bit here. Uh, the case is a, uh, it's a carbon resin, somewhat of a uh, carbon plastic. It's 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 plastic. I mean, the watch feels rather light, so it's it is um, dare I say it's a little bit cheap. Um, you know, it, it is light. the The rubber strap it's a it's a it is a rubber strap. It's not silicone, but you know, it's it's good. It's it's not expensive. It's definitely not expensive. It's it's rather cheap, but I mean, I spent. Um, Gosh, what did I spend on this watch? 
$20 shipped, I think. I'll, I'll put a picture of it up right here. So, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, but this little trim ring around here is, uh, it's a stainless steel. Really, I think it's like a chrome plated plastic, but it, it's, it's coated on the top. This, I don't, this doesn't, I think this is plastic. I tried to see if it was mineral crystal. I couldn't really see, you know, I don't want to see. Yeah, no, that's plastic. So, you know, that's okay. I mean, whatever. It, I, I think the what's what's really interesting about the watch is, is, is this uh, this movement. So I, I opened it up, and I'll put some pictures up here. Uh, there's really not much to say about it, but it is actually a, a unique Chinese design movement. Uh, it's actually quite cool. It has three rulers. And I've seen this movement in several different watches. Uh, it's basically the same thing. All they do is change the uh, change the face, change the case, but it's it's identical. Um, and they all have the same the same controls as well. Uh, oddly enough, this one by Self Lover and one by Skyme or Skyme, whatever it's called. This this button is fake. Um, they actually have a picture which I'll put right here. Uh, you can see it. It gives the instructions on how to use on how to use the watch, and it's got some. Uh, Chinese writing on the right uh, on the right for that one button and clearly it uh, basically suggests um, you know hey this doesn't work I mean I don't know I don't read Chinese but I wouldn't even know how to copy paste that so um, this button here does the demo and it'll essentially rotate the drums uh, two times until it gets you back to the actual time that it was which is kind of cool I mean, it's just kind of neat. Let's see. What, what time is it? All right. Yep, 9.20. That's correct. Uh, if I hold this button down for two seconds, I can e adjust the rollers. So there's two ways to adjust the rollers, right? One, uh, you adjust the rollers because you're trying to set the time. And the second way to adjust the rollers is if they come out of alignment, meaning that as they rotate around, they don't properly hit... Um, on a perfectly uh, level, uh, you know, so the, you see the one is ever so slightly higher, the two is, is a little bit lower, and you can adjust that. If you wanna actually set the time, so like I wanna set set it to 920, 922, I can do that, and I just keep hitting it. And so see, I'll make it, what time is it? It's actually 918, so. So I hit this and then I hit that. And of course this has six, seven, eight, and nine, which I'll never use. Okay, and then, so I'll set that. Oh, damn it. What I need to do is just let it sit. Okay, so I'll let that sit there. Uh, and when that's done, uh, then I can adjust the uh, the 1 and the 18, so I think I'm going to try and hit that now. There we go. So now it should go back to it after it rotates around. Okay. All right, let's see. So I can adjust it. Boom, there we go. So now it'll go back to 8, maybe 19 at this point because it's changed over. Yep, so it's it's perfect, much better there. So kind of neat. A um, couple other things to mention. It's got a tachyometer. I don't know what the point of that is because there's no hand, so I don't even know why that's on there. But, you know, they, they probably figured, hey, cool. Um, water resistance is 3 ATM, maybe. Um, the, the SCMI version says it's five, uh, atmospheres, five bar. I'm not sure that's right. Um, but, uh, nevertheless, I put it in a jar of water, which is the equivalent to probably about, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's a good test for three ATM and I, it, no water got into it. Uh, three, three ATM is good for washing hands, uh, and taking a shower. I wouldn't necessarily swim with it probably not the the best idea uh what else can i say about this watch yeah um 
I couldn't even find that logo. I don't know what that is. It looks like a flame with a sand dollar or some sort of uh, plumeria leaf in there. Um, yeah. Hopefully they didn't spend too much money investing in that name. Um, what, what can I say? Uh, yeah, so as I said, I saw several other watches that used the same movement. Uh, it's pretty common. Um, there was uh, Skimi, and then there's a couple others. I'll put them there on the right. You should see them. Uh, otherwise, pretty cool. Um, this is, again, going to be one of those watches that I just give to a coworker. Be like, you know, somebody, if first person say, hey, I like that watch. I'll just say, there you go. You can have it. It's yours. So, yeah, I, I pretty much, uh, let's see. There's, there's no, I don't think it lights up at night. So, but we'll try that just to see. Uh, okay. Nope, completely dark. All right. So it doesn't light up. All right, let's do some some measurements. I'm gonna find my caliper. What the heck? Oh, I put it away. All right. Fifty. That's pretty big. So fifty millimeter uh, width, case width. Uh, that doesn't seem right. Twenty three and a half. I guess that's right. Twenty three and a half. Um, lug and the depth is going to be pretty big. I'm going to guess about 18. Oh, well, I guess I totally overdid it. All right, it's 15 and a half case depth, so not bad. Um, let's check the the watch length. So 10 and a quarter. Um, Gosh, how many centimeters is that? I know that's about 24. So, yeah. I don't know, about 28, 29 centimeters, I would say. Interesting watch, probably. Yeah, I think I got, I think I paid about what it's worth, $20. <laughs> I, you know. Uh, I think it was cheaper than some of the others. Uh, I saw some go as high as uh, 50 $60. Seemed kind of silly, but, you know, there wasn't a big demand for the self-lover model, so so I got it cheap. Um, anyways, if you like this, if, uh, if you like this video, please uh, click the thumbs up. Um, please discuss in the comments below what you think about it. Very interested to uh, hear your opinions on the name. And uh, if you like videos like this, please subscribe. I have plenty of videos that, that I'm planning on doing. I've got a uh, some actual really nice watches coming. Uh, I've got a couple over $1,000 that I'll be posting, but I'm taking my time with the videos because I want them to be uh, a little bit nicer, you know, than these quick short ones that I'm doing to just kind of bide the time. But, um, yep, if you have any recommendations, please leave them below. Uh, and uh, uh, I appreciate your subscription and your patronage to uh, my channel. Thank you very much.